Those that are new, this is the easiest way for me to get it up. I've seen others do that, this on uh, YouTube, and it is an easy way to get your grease stained. This soaks up a lot of the grease. And now you're going to add the taco seasoning, one ounce. This is my homemade taco seasoning. If you have not seen that uh, video on how to make homemade taco seasoning, I will link that at the end of this video in the end screen. Turn that off. I set that to the side, and then we're going to go over and start on the next part. Now we're going to make the enchilada sauce. You're going to use a 12 ounce jar of salsa. I have some salsa left in this jar that I'm going to go in and get out. Using the thick and chunky Chi Chi's Mild, add half of this 16 ounce jar in there. Well, a quarter, because I just added half of that jar in there. Then you're going to add one can of cream of chicken. One can of cream of mushroom, and if you don't like mushroom, you can add two cans of cream of chicken. Mix that up together. Then you're going to add two cups of cheese. I have this Fiesta blend left over, so I'm going to add that in there. And then... Add a little bit of the mild cheddar that I have. I just wanted to use up that fat fiesta cheese. I'm going to add a handful of mild cheddar to make that into two cups. Then you're going to mix all of that in there. Set that to the side. You're going to need 10 corn tortillas. I got the white. I'm going to take 10 of those out. If you have any left over, you can put it in the freezer. That's what I've been doing with those. Now you're going to cut these into quarters. Down the middle. And like that, that's quarters. And then down the middle of this. Now you're going to take your crock pot over. Now you're going to layer these. Make sure you spray your crock pot with cooking spray very well. Now layer these down there and cover in it. They break apart it's not going to matter you're not going to see it as long as they're not too broken apart okay and then do like that so you can see what it looks like down in there you're going to add your ground beef add half of that on there Spread that out. Then you're going to add half of your cheese mixture on top of that. Okay. 
I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'll show you in a second. Cut through the side. Now you're going to spread that all over the top. Like that. Add more tortillas. Now you're going to add the rest of the ground beef back on there. Spread it out. Have your crock pot set on high. Add more of this on there. We'll add the rest of it. Because that's half. Spread that out all over. Take the rest of your tortillas and put them all over. Two more cups of cheese on top. I got the, this bag of cheddar cheese, so I'm going to put the rest of that on top of it. So you're going to need four cups of cheese. Two cups in the mix, two cups for the top. Now what you do is you cover it and let it cook for one hour. It's done. I'm going to plate it up, try it for you. All oh, that cheese is yummy. You can see the layers. Okay, let me get into it and plate it up. Let you see what it looks like. And you see the layers. I made some Mexican style corn to go with it. I'm going to try it for you. Looks so good. It smells good too. Mmm. -hmm. That is really good. And the tortilla. Mm. That's really, really good. It's not too spicy. I used a mild salsa. So, if you want it spicier, then you can buy spicy salsa to go in this. Or maybe you could add some green chilies, too, if you want it more spicy. And thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.